What is up? This is your LA in a Minute, and I'm here in the Jewel City, named such because of how it sparkles in the sun against the beautiful Verdugo Hills, a place where in 1884 the townspeople gathered to choose a name, and they chose Glendale. Let's get into the history. So this is the Catalina Verdugo Adobe. This is actually the oldest building in Glendale, even though it predates Glendale by about 75 years. It was built by Teodoro Verdugo in the 1820s or 1830s for his blind daughter, Catalina. The family lived here until she passed in 1861. Glendale wouldn't be incorporated until 1906. Teodoro inherited the land for the adobe from his grandfather, Jose, who received it as the Rancho San Rafael from the governor of the Californias, Diego de Borica, in 1798. That land, along with most of the land in Los Angeles, was originally inhabited by the Tongva or Gabrieleno people who were conquered by the Spanish missionaries. Verdugo's descendants sold the ranch in various parcels, some of which are included in present-day Atwater Village, Eagle Rock, and Highland Park. In 1884, as the remaining residents gathered to form a town site and chose the name Glendale, residents to the southwest formed Tropico in 1887. Thank you to Leslie Coombs Brand, the Pacific Electric Railway bought streetcar service to Glendale and Tropico in 1904, which spearheaded growth, and Glendale incorporated in 1906. Brand built a sprawling estate called El Miradero, which is now Brand Park and Brand Library. Today, Brand is memorialized by one of the city's main thoroughfares, Brand Boulevard. Brand loved to fly and he built a private airstrip in 1919, which became the Glendale Municipal Airport in 1923, a direct link to the soon-to-be-built Grand Central Airport, which would be LA's major airport for the next couple decades. Grand Central Airport was the departure point for the first commercial west-to-east transcontinental flight flown by Charles Lindbergh. Now, Glendale has a dark history as well. Until the 1960s, Glendale was a sundown town. Non-whites were required to leave city limits by a certain time each day or risk arrest and possible violence. In 1964, Glendale was selected to be the West Coast headquarters of the American Nazi Party. Luckily, in the 60s, smarter minds prevailed. Glendale dropped the ordinances and the Nazi Party moved out. Part of the diversification came from the strong and proud Armenian community of Glendale, which had been in the city since the 1920s. The surge of Armenian immigration escalated in the late 1970s when many came from Iran after the 1979 revolution. In the 1980s, Glendale saw another influx of Armenian immigrants from Russia as their government was devolving. Glendale today has the largest Armenian community outside of Armenia. It's worth noting Glendale's retail strength with the Galleria, the Americana at Brand, and Disney's Grand Central Creative Campus. Glendale's called the Jewel City. It took a while to shine. Regardless, it's a great place to be, and my dad was born there. All right, LA, it's been a minute.